Uh, I'd like to focus on the cycle of addiction because the men in the treatment program that we run, we run treatment programs every eight weeks, uh, have uh, emphasize that they find this particular part of the teaching that we do to be most important. So I'm going to bring that uh, 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 and highlight it tonight so that people have a clear understanding that addictions operate in patterns, uh, repeating patterns. And whether you're talking about sex addiction, alcohol, drugs or whatever uh, your addictive process might be, uh, the, uh, uh, the pattern will, will, will underpin it. Sexual addiction operates in tandem with another addictive process. And what uh, uh, um, we find very often is that work operates a kind of control side of the cycle and the release side of sex. Women is often food. And for food, women are often operating the control side over, over food. Uh, but uh, men operate the control side over work very often. Uh, and the release side uh, over um, uh, uh, sexual behavior. And so what we do, we train people, we teach people to learn their precursors because what is dormant is in fact precursors. Uh, and so uh, the, earlier, the earlier you exit this cycle, the easier it is. So we actually try to get people to exit before it starts. And in our groups that we run, uh, everyone is required to make two telephone calls per week to other group members so that they build up because sex addiction and all addiction is really uh, uh, has its origins in disconnectedness. When the male brain is being sexual uh, it releases quite a lot of vasopressin. The female, when the female is being sexual, will tend to release oxytocin. And oxytocin is the, uh, the brain chemistry of, of, of connection, of warmth, of nurture. Uh, women uh, 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 have high levels of oxytocin when they're breastfeeding, for example. And you can understand women in relationship to men. I mean, um, <coughs> men are on the whole looking for a lay. Women are looking for a relationship. You know, men have, as the people say, men have relationships to have sex and women have sex to have relationships. And there is a, there is a, certain, there is a certain truth in, in that. And I remember her saying to me once, uh, uh, shame is to addiction what oxygen is to the fire. And it's, it, it feeds the addictive process.